want to talk a little bit about uh, uh, an operation here in town that's been here for a while now. A lot of controversy when it first came, or you know, some controversy. Shorelines Casino. Right. Um, it's been in place for a while. The city, I believe, gets a quarterly check uh, for hosting the casino as part of the agreement for, for having it here. Um, are you are you happy the expectations are being met in terms of those quarterly checks? And uh, curious, just what you know, it's a chunk of money. Yeah. Uh, what, what's happening with that money? <laughs> so the casino is a funny, a funny one. Um, I wasn't on council when that decision was getting made. Right. Um, I did. I was hesitant around, you know, what was promised uh, because um, all the trends in in gambling uh, are that, you know, f young people don't go to casinos. Right. Right. So, yep. like, I, 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 you know, I myself and my friends. That's not really sure. Gambling is a lot of it's moved online. Yes. Um, so, so for me, I was like these numbers that we were being promised. You know, these millions and millions of dollars. I was like, that's. I, I was always hesitant that that was going to happen, and then. And we have seen that the money coming in has been under what was put forward. Yep. Um, I mean, it was you know an estimate back in back when it when it was originally proposed. But I I kind of always knew like that's that's overly optimistic. Right. Um, you and, know that and that's proven to be the case. That has been proven to be the case. So yep. we have been getting less than than was expected. Um, and um, but anyways, I don't want to dwell too much on that. Other <laughs> than to say like I just yeah. Um, yeah, I kind of figured that would be the case. But that being said, you know, however you feel about the casino, it's here, it's operating, we are getting money from it. And, um, and where's that going? So um, it's going it to a range of things. It's all sort of been pre-committed to different projects. Um, it is um, it, it is helpful money to offset some of the capital programs that we have going on because, okay. again, we have so much. And I can get you a detailed list. I don't know them all off the top of my head right now. Sure. Um, but they, you know, uh, when it was originally discussed that this money is coming in, there was sort of pre-allocations for how we're going to spend this money for the first yeah. couple of years. Yeah. Um, because I would love to see, you know, 10% of it go towards, you know, housing or go towards... Sure. Um, like put it in pockets for Put it in pockets things. for yeah. different things. But again, you know, it sounds like a lot of money if it's, you know, a couple million dollars a year, but it's that can be taken up by <sighs> one part of one project. Absolutely. So... Um, but having even said that, though, and I don't want to sound crass when I say this, but the city doesn't have to do much for that money. Well, we're paying for the realignment of uh, Crawford Road, which has gone way over budget. Yeah, that's still going on. Yeah, too, right? and yeah. there was, yeah, and that's enough. complicated. So yeah, okay. I would say we are. Um, <laughs> and again, I that's the project that I I am not in favor of. Haven't I? Don't understand why we're paying for this road for the casino, but uh, neither here nor there. Um, that's you know it sounds uh, like a whole other show, right? That's here. <laughs> close to close to like nine or ten million dollars. Wow. For. A, small stretch of road yeah, um, yeah. and it has to do with because it's near environmentally sensitive areas and the wetlands and yeah. Harper Creek and all of that so I mean that was I think one of the for me with the casino discussion was less about the casino and more about building the casino in the swamp.